Hey, I'm Tammy at All About Living, and today we're just going to make fajitas. Homemade fajitas. I can't see spending $18 a plate for a fajita. You know, I just, and that was the last time I, we tried to go. I, I don't know what they are now, but I can make a homemade fajita under 20 bucks to feed two. Okay, so that's what we're gonna Okay, do. for the meat today, I'm just using a one pound sirloin and I cut it up and put it in my fridge this morning in a Ziploc with my Tex-Mex and just, you know, mess it around, put it in the fridge, let it sit and marinate all day. And now it's ready okay, to And get. I just cut it as thin, you know, as thin as I can get. Okay, as you guys know, fajitas are just basically garden vegetables and meat with seasoning. Veg I'm going to cut these veggies up. I've got some bell peppers, some onions, and some mushrooms, and we're going to call it good. Okay, the first thing we're going to do before I ever even start cutting veggies is get a hot pan. I'm going for a high flame, and I want that pan hot and smoking. Okay, and while that pan's getting hot, we're going to slice and dice, and I want them kind of chunky, so I had leftover lunch onion, and that's probably enough for Andy and I, so I'm just going to cut that right straight down the middle. I'm going to cut that straight down the middle, and I'm going to cut that straight down the middle. That is all I'm going to do, So I want nice, chunky veggies. My, uh, my mushrooms were already cut. I usually try not to buy them that way, but they were on sale, and so that's the way I got them. Now I got to use them. And I got some leftover peppers. I got almost a whole red one and part of the green one. And I have a yellow one. So we're going to have a nice colorful fajita. All right. And I'm just going to cut these bell peppers into strips, probably about a quarter inch wide. And that's all I'm doing to them. It's fajita time. Look at that smoke. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of oil in there, two or three maybe. I'm going to move that around a little bit in this super hot pan. And I am going to drop my sirloin in there. And I'm going to be careful because I put that oil in there. I'm not, I don't want to get burnt, but I'm going to drop it all around in there. I'm gonna give these. I'm give these just a little stir. Make sure they're all, well, you know, like kind of apart. And now I'm gonna put those veggies in. In we go. I mean, this is such a simple dish, but it is so good. These will all pop apart on their own as they start to brown up. I'll break a few of them. And we're going to drop those onions and our mushrooms. They're pretty big. I think I'm going to just pop them in. Yeah, that looks good. That look like half a pack? Yep, about half a pack. All right, what a close-up. Isn't that just a beautiful dish? All right, now, we're gonna get that, look how nice and incorporated that is now. We've got it stirred up. And we're just gonna let that cook down. Okay, and no fajita dinner is complete without a quesadilla. And that you can't get easier than a quesadilla. It is. A tortilla and some cheese of your choice. I'll get that on. We're just going to shoot for a medium, medium, medium high flame. Not, not like that. 
on it goes. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more of my Tex-Mex so that my veggies have some too because I want it all to taste good. And we're just going to give that another stir. Move the ones off the bottom to the top. Just like that. Yay! Oh, the smell, y'all. Wish you were here. There we go. See how easy that was? And we have some Cheddar Jack. You can use any kind of cheese you like. I like this one, and sometimes I'll use the Fontina cheese. Sometimes I'll use white, uh, the white cheddar. Just depends on what I got in the fridge when I get in the mood. Get you a top on there. Give it just a minute or two to brown. Flip it. It's a dia done. Yep. Ready to flip. Look at that. All right. We're just going to continue to put the veggie oops, the veggies on the top, onto the bottom, so they cook evenly. There you are. Look how beautiful that you is. You know, when, you, when you're at a Mexican restaurant, they always, like, wrap up in tinfoil two or three flour tortillas and then just give them to you and let you wrap well, we never ate those anyway. We just ate the veggies and the, we just ate the fajita. All right, guys. This is Randy and Tammy at All About Living. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you that if you want a fajita that tastes like this fajita, you've got to make this seasoning. Video link is at the end. Make sure you go and watch it because this seasoning is awesome. And it's better than the one at the restaurant down the road. Well, way down the road. <laughs> Y'all take care and have a good night. Bye.